got okay. the light behind it. Well, we, yeah, we haven't got a light down here. What I normally do is hold it up just to one of the strip lights and you can see. Yeah, I have something. Okay, we're back with Caroline Smith, Natural History Museum in London, and this is a rather large slice of palisite. Yes, this is one of the largest slices of any palisite meteorite in existence. Not the largest, but it's certainly one of the largest. This is a slice of the Imalac palisite, uh, which is from Chile. And you can see very clearly the very beautiful matrix of iron and nickel metal and embedded within that these absolutely fantastic crystals of the mineral olivine, which is an iron and magnesium silicate. And in fact, in the, the olivines in, in Imalac and uh, palisites like it are actually of gem quality. So you could actually call them peridotes or peridots, depending on how you, how you wish to pronounce that. But really, really beautiful specimen. And we think that the, well, these meteorites formed on asteroids. And we think that these formed um, in the insides of asteroids. So with the Barwell meteorite, if you got meteorite like that and you melted it all up, um, you'd have a process called differentiation, where the metal sinks down into the middle of the body to form a core. And metal does that because it's dense, so it sinks down and then the rocky portions go up relatively. So if you can imagine if we got a large cosmic saw blade and cut our earth in half, you'd see an iron and nickel metal core in the middle, around that the rocky mantle, and then obviously on the surface of that the solid crust, which is what we walk around on. So we think that the palisites formed in an asteroid that melted, this process of differentiation occurred, the metal separated out from the, from the rock, and we think that the palisites come from the area that we call the core mantle boundary, so where that metallic core is just grading into the, the rocky mantle. So you're getting a mixture of the two different things. And you can see with the light shining behind it, the absolute beautiful sort of lime greeny yellow colour of the olivine crystals. And Spectacular. They really are. These are probably the most stunning of all of the meteorites. Many of the meteorites we have just look like dark rocks. They don't look very interesting, although they have some of the most interesting stories to tell us. Palisites also have interesting stories to tell us, but are actually very beautiful objects as well. And a lot of people, when they see them, they say they think they look a bit like stained glass windows. Mm -hmm. and that you can see that actually when you do shine the light through, they really are pretty stunning, stunning objects. Beautiful. Thank you, and thanks, Julianne, for the lighting. Beautiful. That's the